Check, check. Mic check. Testing, one, two, three. Check. Mic check. Testing, one, two, three.
Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the consultative meeting of the uh, subcommittee um, of the Committee on Finance. Now, this is a continuation of the questions and concerns we have regarding the budget. So I call the meeting um, because uh, the budget was officially submitted pending submission of all uh, uh, requests no, from the different senators. So this is just really a meeting to clarify issues which clearly will come up during the uh, um, plenary session, and uh, if we can clarify things sooner than later, it's better. Um, this is being uh, streamed live, so um, be 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 you're aware that it's public. Um, there's also camera, so just to be sure that sometimes, because I'm approached if there's something confidential, this is not a confidential meeting. So if you need to tell me something in confidential, you have to tell me because this is live. Okay. Just to be clear. So, um, of course, Secretary Herbosa, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, and good I'd like to good afternoon. And I'd like to um, welcome the um, representatives from um, PhilHealth, starting with uh, President and CEO, uh, Mr. Ledesma. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. And then with you is um, your Executive Vice President, Eli Santos. Yeah, there. Nalilito ako sa inyo kasi siya yung nasa gilid. Hindi kayo nasa harap. Or mas ikaw magsasalita. O wala naman. Pareho lang. Uh, I wanted to be in between my finance and my CEO. Uh, okay. So okay. Is, that, is that okay, ma'am? Of is course. Okay? Yeah. No, no. Thank you, ma'am. with me. I'm just saying napapatingin ako sa harap. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, Mr. Renato Lim Shako. So, ikaw pala ang finance. Tama? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good then, afternoon po. Good afternoon. And then from... PHAP, the Philip, the Private Hospitals Association of Philippines, Mr. L Lloyd, Tamaba Lloyd Diones. And I understand, um, Tamaba, your president is online or will be online later. Okay, sige. So without further ado, I will give the floor um to to all of you. Uh, my concern really is that during the hearing, uh President Ledesma um was very confident in his statement about payments being made and 75% of the uh, payments due had actually been paid, right? And then later on, there was a statement from, is it, is it the papi, uh, stating that marami sa lang hindi nabayaran. As to, there is a way to reconcile those statements because obviously if 75, then may 25 pat talaga naman hindi nabayaran. We'd really like to get clarity on this because um, the chairman of the Committee on Finance, Senator Sani Angara, um, according to his team, commitments to make payment to of PhilHealth to the private hospitals were made a couple of years ago pa. And of course, I know you are new, but let's let's get all of this history and current status um, clarified so that uh, the committee, the subcommittee knows how to make the proper recommendations uh, to the committee. Okay? Uh, one second lang. So I'm accompanied by my team because it's just a meeting, no? Um, Attorney Abby Miranda, for your information, because you will need to work with my team if you have other submissions to be made. Um, I, I'm not sure if other senators will join, but maybe some of them have their staff here? Yeah, okay. So um, I understand uh, PhilHealth has a presentation, and if you'd like to make a preliminary statement, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, um, Chair Chairperson Pia Cayetano. Good afternoon again to everybody, um, Madam Chair, um, Madam Abby, um, Honorable Secretary Ted Herbosa. Um, thank you very much again, Madam Chairperson, for this um, opportunity. No, we welcome it at PhilHealth uh, to be able to clarify some issues. Um, I will give an opening statement, Madam, and then we have a uh, short presentation. No. It will be presented by our finance guy, Sir Renet, no? Um, before I make my opening statement, ma'am, I just want to mention something very quickly. Um, I think, as you said earlier, the main issue for this hearing is to clarify my statement that um, 
well, I committed to Congress that it, in, within 90 days, we would pay off the 27 billion. No? Now, and then uh, uh, I added uh, 30 days after that uh, it's only been roughly a month and we've already paid 75% of the 27 billion. I, and then, I, I, I can uh, confirm that that is what you said yes. here. Thank yes. you. Thank you, ma'am. And then lastly, ma'am, uh, Honorable uh, Dr. Ed DeGrano, who is the president of PIHAPI, came up with a statement and there was a press release. He was saying, maybe kami ni PCO are talking about two different things because parang hindi ko nakikita na yung yung 75% ay nabayaran na. Parang he, he found it also, he, he thought that there was a misunderstanding because he wasn't sure that if that was really the case. no So Dr. Rene De Grano, the president of PIHAPI, came out with statements alluding that maybe we're talking about two different things because he also found it hard to believe. So anyway, ma'am, uh, lastly, uh, a day a day or two after our Senate hearing, I asked Dr. De Grano, the president of PIHAPI, and the other hospital association to, to have a meeting. So we were all involved in a meeting. I said to clarify all the miscommunication or all the different statements. And I'm happy to report to this uh, honorable committee that after the meeting, Dr. René de Grano, who is the subject of all of this, as president of PIHAPI, said, I'm glad you called this meeting. Everything is now clear. Okay, so I just want to mention that, ma'am. No. So, so sure, share that info with us, and then maybe we can get confirmation uh, from them. Yes, Paul. Okay. Yes, Paul. And will then he I think. Be available online. Uh, he will be available. Yeah, if I'm not okay. mistaken, I was also talking to him just yesterday. I okay. think he said, I said, uh, uh, Dr. De Grano, if you're happy with if you're happy with the de developments, it might be nice to share it with us. It the, might be nice. In you the are, you are absolutely today. right. It okay. might be nice. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that, ma'am. And then if okay. I can proceed with my well, opening. We can be finished in 30 minutes. I'm sure the secretary is very busy. <laughs> yes, Po. <laughs> and I'm sure even yourself also, Po. That's Thank you, Po. No. I'd rather be playing paddle with our, our um, Olympian. That's the truth. <laughs> Thank you, Pa. Um, Minsan lang sila makauwi dito eh. So, we wanted to spend a little time with them and, you know, congratulate them. So, thank you for also giving them a little bit of time. They deserve the honor. Oh, it's our honor also, ma'am. Okay. Can I go ahead and proceed with my statement, ma'am? Thank you, ma'am. Honorable Senator Pia Cayetano. Um, Honorable Attorney Abby Miranda. Honorable Secretary, DOH Secretary Ted Herbosa, officers and representatives from our DOH family, distinguished guests, other participants, my co workers in field health present today, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Your Honors, we thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to be here today to discuss some of the concerns that have been raised with field health. These include claims payables and the more recent cybersecurity incident that occurred. But I think, if my, under my understanding is correct, I think this hearing is more specifically to address the 27 billion um, pr I, I promised to pay uh, the hospitals, which was um, mentioned last September 6 in Congress. Unwavering in our mandate of ensuring every Filipino has access to quality health services, PhilHealth has unceasingly come in aid of its members through steadfast payment of benefit claims, despite the many, many challenges we constantly face. Please allow us to assure the good honorable senator that measures are already in place to ensure continuous services for our field members and even our partners. We have been recently reminded that our programs are not perfect. Nevertheless, we want nothing more and we feel the Filipinos deserve nothing more than service with healthcare benefits and services that are of quality, accessible and affordable as mandated by the universal healthcare law. Again, Madam Chair, we continue to be grateful for the ceaseless support and guidance we received from the Senate and other partners in public service. Magandang hapon at maraming salamat po, Madam Chair. I just want a minute to, yeah, let's keep that up. Just want to understand this. <laughs> Thank you. Just 
current year is 1.13 billion. So, ang BN 60 days is 6 lang. Ibig sabihin, there you go. Can you, ano, can you elaborate on this? Um, whoever you want to elaborate on, no? Um, yeah, so I'm looking at this um, chart of yours. And yung... Ano ba tong within 60 days? Payable within 60 days? Build within build the last 60 days? What does within 60 days mean? Yeah. Mom, if I may be allowed, uh, Sir Annette, so yeah, who prepared course. this. Uh -oh. um, so what does within 60 days mean? Due within 60 days? Uh, again, magandang hapon po, uh, Madam Senator. And uh, on this chart po, makikita po natin ang ating payable of 27.2 as of August 2 to 2023 so, po. August now, 2, okay. ito po yung aging po natin. Uh, aging po ng uh, claims natin as of August 2 that we have within 60 days po worst claims of 13.7 billion okay. and because the law provides us uh, pill health to process the claim within 60 days upon receipt. Okay. And, uh, so by law, by law, ito yung due na dapat niyong bayaran within 60 days. By yes law po. yan. Yes 13.7 billion. Yes okay. po ma'am. Pero ako na magpapaliwanag ano, para ano, ah, uh, Pero meron din kasi kayong June na sumobra na sa 60 days. Yes, po. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, itong June na 6 billion point 2, 6.2 billion, tama? Yes po. Okay. Um that's for this current year 2023. 2023. So hindi lang na process yan within 60 days, hindi yes, nabayaran within 60 days. And then meron pang previous years na 7 billion. So total is 13.5 billion uh Pag idadagdag pa si 13. 13 billion, that's why may total ka na 27.2 billion. Okay. Tama po. Sige. Tanungin ko muna yung, kasi yung within 60 days, by law yan eh. Meron kang 60 days. So, wala namang pwedeng magsabi sa'yo na, oy, 31 days na, late ka na. Kasi the law allows you 60 days to pay. Clear? Yes po, ma'am. So, within 60 days, nandun kayo sa binigay sa inyo na time frame ng batas. Okay. So, dito tayo mag-focus dun sa beyond 60 days. No? Yes po, ma'am. Uh, ang current year mo is 6.2. Bakit yan delayed? Ibig ba sabihin nito kulang ang pera o uh, pe, kompleto ang papers nila pero kulang ang pera nyo or kung ano man dahilan or may kakulangan din sa submissions nila kaya hindi nyo pa mabayaran. Ano yung main reason dun sa current year tapos mamaya dun sa previous year? Yes po ma'am. Uh... The main reason why beyond 60 days ako tayo, hindi po sa walang pera o okay. kulang pera natin. Okay. We have enough uh, funds okay. and in fact, so many times So you're assured the public and the hospitals kasi nakakatakot lang yung statement which I've heard for many years on and off na uh, baka magsara na daw yung mga private hospitals natin, natatakot silang tumanggap ng pasyente dahil uh, pag tinanggap nila yung pasyente, abonado sila sa gastos, magpapasweldo sila ng doktor, yung supplies na ginamit nila, yung oxygen tank, yung gamot, lahat, yung operating room, hindi, hindi mura magmanage ng operating lahat yon abonado sila. Tapos yung 60 days na expect nilang dadating yung pera, hindi pala dadating. So talaga naman kung ako sila, um, naawa ako sa kanila na wala silang security na dadating yung bayad. But you're saying to us now, may pera, wag kayong mag-alala. So bakit nagkaroon ng uh, backlog beyond 60 days? Yes po ma'am. Uh, yung There are a lot of claims ma'am na pumapasok sa atin. Ano? Uh, we have 1 million claims average in a month. Okay. So parang ganyan ma'am yung statistics po natin. And ito po yung beyond 60 days. Of course, may mga uh, na process na claims uh, within 60 days or even before 60 days and there are some claims as well and there are some regional offices na nagpa-process ng claims beyond 60 days as well because maraming claims uh, na na-receive sila. Okay. And some of these claims, ma'am, particularly yung previous years, uh, which is uh, 474,000, ma'am, these are claims that may mga concern as to the system, as to the policy, that uh, uh, tinitingnan ng korporasyon how to, uh, and of course we are discussing this with uh, uh, Dr. Digrano, 
how we will uh, release o kaya process the claims and mailabas po natin ang pondo na nakalaan po dito because these are claims already tagal na as of uh, August 2 ay umaabot ng 7.2 billion po. Okay, sandali lang ah. Sige po ma'am. Um Tama ba ang aking math? If you have 6 billion uh, worth of claims beyond 60 days and you say na 1 million uh, ang pinaprocess sa isang buwan, that's an average of 6,000 pesos. Is my math correct? 6 billion minus, ay, 6 billion divided by 1 million is 6,000. 6,000? I mean, I'm just, yes. I'm just saying. So, ibig sabihin, ano bang, ano bang range ng, ano, ng, uh, ng ipaprocess ng, ano, mm -hmm. ng isang hospital? Hindi naman siguro isang procedure, di ba? Mm -hmm. Hindi, siguro mm -hmm. naman ng isang hospital, ilang procedure yun, kahit yung pinakamaliit. So, what, what, what is the range of the claim of one hospital? Maybe kayo ang tatanungin ko. Uh, Mr. Chair, it varies depending on the of diagnosis We, of the... I know it varies. Yes, Kaya nga tinatanong yes, ko, what is the range? Um, maliit, ano yung malaki? 10,000, 100,000, yes. 1 million? Uh, thousands up to 100,000 for non-COVID cases. Ano Mr. No? Chair, for non-COVID cases, oh. it's up to um, 100,000. What's it? 100,000. 100,000. But for COVID case, uh, Mr. Chair, it's up to 700,000. Uh, ano pagkatay ng mundo sa maraming COVID cases? Uh, oh. there's, there are a lot of unpaid and uh, COVID ah, claims. Because the previous yes, years, okay, sige. sige. Sige, So, iba pa yung usapang COVID, iba pa yung uh, hindi COVID. Uh, so, yung non-COVID, ang average na claim ng isang hospital is in the hundreds of thousands? Uh, that's the range, Mr. Chair. That's the highest. Average, probably 15,000. Sorry? Mr. Chair. Average is 15,000. 15,000 for the non-COVID case. Oh, no. But that's one That's one procedure. That's not the monthly claim. Uh, because because ang, ang, ang statement nyo is sa isang taon, sa isang, sa isang buwan, you receive 1 million claims. Yun ang sinabi ng PhilHealth. So gusto ko lang malaman, magkano ba worth yung isang claim na yon? Siyempre may range. Okay. So, so ang, ang isang hospital ba, buwanan maningil? Normally ba yon Buwan-buwan sila sumisingil? Or quarterly? What are the habits? Um, as discharge, Mr. Chair, we do file the claim ah, so, as patient. Yes, kada, so, ah, yes so, po, Mr. Chair. Hospital, pwedeng sa isang araw, tatlong claims. Yes so, po, po, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay, see. okay, okay. So, if you are to ask me, Mr. Chair, the average monthly uh, filed claims... Ito bundle ng hospital yun? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. Bigay agad. Yes po, kasi the, the, the ruling, Mr. Chair, is for us to file the claims within 60 days upon discharge. Within 60 days? Okay, so, it, so sorry, itong within 60 days, within discharge, ang sinagot sa akin kanina, 60 days from the time that the claim is made. Uh, Mr. Chair, if, if, if I'm to... For you, 60 days, for the hospital... Okay, okay, okay ulitin natin. So, for the hospitals... Make the claim within 60 days of discharge. Correct, Mr. Chair. And then say you naman, pay within six pay, not process, but pay within 60 days from the day the claim is made. So ano yung isang reason na binigay mo? Sabi mo sumo sobra sila sa 60 days. Sa 60 days nila. Hindi sa 60 days nyo. May, may sinagot ka eh. Sa, ano yung reason? Sabi mo, yung iba dyan claims beyond 60 days. 60 days of what? Okay. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, uh, 60 days... Uh, pag-process ni PhilHealth ng claims. Kaya makikita po natin that there are some claims that beyond 60 days siya. So in other words, hindi na i-process natin ng PhilHealth yung claims na yan within sa 60 days reglamentary oh, period. Oo, nga. Hindi nyo na-process. Yes po. But ang tanong ko nga, alam ko na yun eh. Uh -huh. <laughs> alam ko na yun eh. Yes ang tanong is ano yung reason kung bakit hindi na-process? Okay. Again ma'am, uh, uh, Eh, mga isa yung reasons reason mo eh kaya nalito ako. Yes po ma'am, ang mga some of the reasons why beyond 60 days tayo, may mga claims na uh, may system issue. When, it, when I say system issue, uh, hindi mapaprocess ng ating processor in our regional offices dahil sa uh, may may Basa. Hindi ba basa? Sa salita, yes, hindi ba? nabasa ng computer. Na computer. Uh -huh. Okay. Meron kasi akong doktor na pinsan. Sabi niya, minsan, hindi mo lang mailagay yung period, hindi na daw nababasa yung claim. 
Na-report ko na to sa PhilHealth more than two years ago eh. May ganun daw eh. So I don't know. I hope na process na na figure out yun na yan. Nahirapan daw yung um, yung uh, ano ba tawag sa kanila? Yung uh, staff na ma-handle. But anyway, we'll, we can go into that in details. Hindi na kayo kailangan, na, hindi na tayo kailangan dyan. Pero we, we have to understand. So, itong mga hindi mabasa ng system, are you addressing that? Yes po, ma'am. Uh, we have now the team uh, na, na dito nga si Doc Sunny that handles the PMT claims that uh, will be addressing ito mga system issues natin, ma'am. Uh, para mabasa po and ma-process ka agad yung mga claims po na ito. Okay. O ano pa yung ibang issue? Um, uh, mayroon din po tayong policy issues. Kung mga claims na pumapasok sa PhilHealth na batay sa evaluation of our regional offices are not, are not hindi acceptable. Siya, oh, hindi pasok. siya pasok. Okay. Yes po. So walang okay. policy yan that covering okay. that one. Okay. Ano pa? May mga referred to membership as well, Madam uh, Chair. Ano yun? Ano yung third? Membership po. Pinapa-verify yung membership ng, ng, at, ng hospital na yan. Opo, uh, ng ating mga claimant or beneficiaries. And uh, there are some claims Wait, also... Wait, the membership of the hospital or of the individual? Individual, ma'am. Akala ko ba ano na tayo? All, ma'am. Pero ang nangyayari, ma'am, may mga uh, pa, uh, pasyente tapos walang membership. Pinapa-submit natin because ng PMRF. Even if delayed ang kanilang or simultaneous lang ang kanilang pagme-member, they still have to, to be a member. Yes po, ma'am. But you will not deny it. Yes you po, ma'am. You just have to follow the process. Yes po. Okay. Marestro po sila. So, Maninindigan pa rin natin yung, kasab yung sinasabi natin na no one is turned away. Yes po. Ano na tayo ngayon? Uh, lahat ay considered member. Pero pag pinaprocess ng ospital, it's their job na dapat pinamember mo yon, Inayos mo. Tama ba? Tama, ma'am. Yes po. Okay. Okay. Ano pa? May mga... May mga referred to legal as well na mga claims, ma'am. Yung nagdududa kayo kung uh, may kalokohan. Uh, yes, ma'am. May mga concern uh, legal on the claims ng ating miyembro. Okay. So, yun po, isa sa mga reasons okay. why. Can you tell me ano yung percentage nito mga to? Uh, sir, we can ask uh, Doc Sani. Nandito naman si Doc Sani. Sure. Ma'am, with your permission, maybe can we ask uh, Doc Sani to elaborate? She's the one, ma'am, in charge of handling. Uh, Madam Chair, good afternoon po. Uh, for 2022 po, uh, we have a percentage of around 2% uh, for the returns. For? Uh, for 2022 yeah. po, opo. Mga 2% po ng mga sinagmit sa amin ng hospital ang nare-return po namin sa mga facilities. Okay. And around 6% po, denied naman po yung claim. So, ah, okay. yan po, yung mga percentage na yun. It's 92% eh, Hindi po, mga around 90.7% po ang paid po namin sa PhilHealth. And uh, 2% is return, 6% is denied. And around uh, 1% is uh, in process, meaning they have the system issue, the policy okay. issue, okay. etc. cetera po. Okay, okay. Sige, thank you for that background. So, mabalik ako. Um, itong sa previous year, sa 7.2 uh, na hindi pa nabayaran, how much percent nito ang COVID? Kasi nga, yun ang nabanggit nga na marami pa palang COVID claims. Ilang percent yun ang COVID? Uh, uh, Madam Senator, uh, I cannot uh, tell po yung percentage but they are many po. Ano, don't, kasi they, they are covered under the policy issue. Yan po. Ah, so, policy. Yeah, opo. So, hindi naman yan considered denied pa? They no po. Still, so, in process pa yon. Yes po, uh, Madam Senator. Ito malaki yan ha? So, paano pumasok yan sa 90% paid kung ganyang kalaki pa, 7 billion? Actually, like ma yeah, yeah. Madam Senator, we paid 119. So, basically... Uh, the 7 billion is only a minuscule amount as compared to the 119 that was actually paid by billion po. COVID claims? Or no po. Uh, overall na po yon for 2022. So, yon yeah, po. Yeah, that's about, um, I don't know, maybe 6 or 5 percent? 7 billion of 119? Well... 7 of 100 is 7 percent. Yes. So 7 over 119 is probably 5 or 4? 6 percent. 6 po. 6. Okay. So, six, so malaki-laki pa rin yung 6 percent. Kaya nga tinatanong ko, marami ba dyan yung COVID? Kasi we need to get to the bottom of it, di ba? At least kung COVID, 
Uh, awa ng Diyos, hindi maulit soon. Mr. Chair, uh, we have some data, Mr. Chair, if, you, if it can help you of decide, course, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, this is based on the 35 hospitals, Mr. Chair, who submitted their data. So this, the records as of October 9, 2023, Mr. Chair. So the total uh, outstanding claims, Mr. Chair, for the 35 hospitals total to 2.08 billion. And of the 2.08 billion, Mr. Chair, uh, COVID claims is around 54 million. About 54 million on COVID claims, uh, Mr. Chair. I uh, Sorry, uh, of the 2.08 billion, Mr. Chair, 671 million COVID claims. So that's in percentage, Mr. Chair, if I'm to convert in percentage. So that's 671 uh, over 2080. So that's 32%, Mr. Chair. And paid as of October 9, Mr. Chair. And the rest are non-COVID claims. So of the COVID, of the 2.08 billion, Mr. Chair, total outstanding claims, um, only 17% is within 60 days. So that's 355.8 million. So the uh, outstanding um, 60 days age, Mr. Chair. So of the 2.08 unpaid, 17% is within 60 days, Mr. Chair, within 60 days. Meaning to say... Yes, Mr. Chair. Correct po, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, beyond 60 days, Mr. Chair. Apo. <laughs> Ah, this is our initiative, Mr. Chair, when we were invited to come over here. So we, right there and then, uh, made a survey from our members. Based on uh, the presentation of PhilHealth, ang beyond 60 days nila is 13 billion. And ang, uh, within 60 days, June nila is 13. So it, it just so happens... You did a little bit of you did a you did a survey and ang response mo shows na may what what you're presenting lang naman to us is that of those who responded two billion is due um seventeen percent is uh within the window of sixty days and then yung eighty three percent so pasok lahat yung numbers na yan dito tama should be Mr Chair okay, okay. should be po. so um can we get confirmation from Private Hospitals Association that what PhilHealth uh, president has mentioned earlier that okay na kayo, nagkaliwanagan na on uh, when the payments are due, what payments will be made. Ikaw ba magbibigay nun or is your president online? Uh, Madam Chair, si President po is online po. I okay. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon po, Madam Chair. Dr. Degrano, hello, welcome. Po. Yes po, good afternoon Hello. po. Welcome uh, sir. Yeah, yes po, uh, 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 nagkausap po kami ni President uh, Ledesma. Uh, actually, twice na kami nag-usap at uh, we're trying to uh, uh, sort out these things. You know? And then of course, uh, ito ang pinresent nila. Uh, initially, we thought really na hindi. Iba ang pinag-usapan namin. You know? Because uh, when I heard him talk at the uh, Senate hearing uh, last September 28th, I think, uh, we were uh, thinking that yung, sina, yung kung sinasabi ni PCEO were the current, you know, just recent. You know? Apparently, then uh, it covers from 2014 to August of 2023. So what we were thinking was uh, for the past three or four years na, ano, na parang uh, claims na hindi pa na-read yung bar sa amin. And remember po, uh, uh, Madam Chair, na for the past uh, three or four years, ay yung po ang uh, medyo uh, inihintay namin kasi karamihan po dyan are COVID, uh, COVID claims of our private hospitals. And that's why yung po, nang sinasabi po ni Mr. Diones na it, we took it upon ourselves na to make a survey, and we only had 35 out of our, around 700 of our members, you know? so because it, it was just uh, quite a uh, you know, uh, short, short time. So anyway, Paul, if we check on that, 
uh, that is uh, if 2 billion uh, divided by around 35, more or less we get around 60 million per hospital. But of course, uh, a lot of them are also small hospitals. So let's just say one half lang or 30 million per hospital. And there are about uh, 1,200 private hospitals. Uh, if we check that, uh, you know, and uh, we put 30 million uh, arrears per hospital, that's around roughly 30, 36 billion. So more or less, sabihin na po na natin na baka nababayanan yung iba, yung iba hindi. But then, uh, right now po, what we think is uh, Bill Health still owe us around 10 to 15 billion sa mga private hospitals po. Yun po. Uh, sir, I have some questions. No, uh, give yes, me sir. a second to to just put my notes together. First of all, um, can I can I repeat what you said to be clear that I understood you? No, sabi niyo, uh, may two billion kayo na claims uh, coming from thirty five hospitals. But yes. may I clarify that? These are just 35 who responded to your survey. In other words, it could be more. There could be yes. more of them. Tama? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But this 2 billion came from the 35. Tama? So even if there's Tama. more, lalaki, lalaki pa yung amount. Tama ba? Yes po. Yun po kaya inaberate yun around Tama. 60 oh, okay. million per okay. hospital. So in other words, the 35 hospitals na sumagot sa survey nyo, their total claim is 2 billion. And that's yes. why you said if you'll average it, of course, it really depends. Iba iba. That's roughly mm -hmm. 60 million per hospital. Yes. And okay. And sabi nyo rin, eh, kahit kalahatiin mo yun, that's 30 million. But then your final statement was kahit mabigyan niya ng konte, 15 million, something like that. Correct? Did I understand? Did yes. I hear that right? Okay. Yes, Paul. Um, I, I want to mention what I remember was a. Um, a solution uh, during the pandemic that was uh, shared with me by then uh, Secretary Vince Dizon because there was also a, a claim uh, uh, and nahihirapan na yung mga hospitals at that time, right? Because they were attending to so many COVID patients. And so, and I don't know the details of the solution, but basically something like if the hospitals are in good standing naman, and uh, there's no reason to doubt naman, wala namang red flag, bayaran na muna yung X percent man lang, pangtawid naman nila. Kung wala namang reason na, ay wag yan, kasi yan, daming record sa atin yan, iba naman yun, di ba? So may ganyan din ba ang PhilHealth para lang hindi nga nalulugi itong mga to? In other words, whether you follow that solution or come up with a new solution, paano nyo ba itatawid itong mga to na kahit papano, we assume that most are are valid claims. So you're you're raising your hand, President Ledesma. Thank you so much for the question, uh, Madam Chair. Actually, what you just explained is, um, if you recall when I answered Kong Stella in Congress that I would pay that no, night. I don't recall because I'm not okay. a member of that Congress. Yeah. So anyway, ma'am, uh, the reason I gave uh, to be able to pay that is called DCPM. It's called the debit credit payment mechanism and that's exactly what you had just mentioned earlier um so um that's really what we intend to use to accelerate and to expedite the payments but we that's why mom i also sounded very confident because i said earlier i, I said in the last hearing we had already paid 75 percent and yet we haven't even started using the dcpm method so anyway, ma'am, we 75 from your own assessment. Okay na 'yan. Okay na 'yan. Pwede mi nang ilabas nilabas niyo na. Yes po. Okay. So and, ngayon, ipapasok niyo na 'to to sa yeah, mga ibang pending. Tapos. Yes po. We we are we are, we are um, exploring the idea of using DCPM to further to even further accelerate the payments, no? Okay. And ma'am, with your permission, very briefly, um because this DCP method was used prior to my joining no if i can allow ceo to brief, very briefly discuss how the methodology works no it's and, really unlike and this is what i'm mentioning also is that correct or is it different yes. this is what i'm mentioning correct yes madam chairperson okay. that's the debit credit payment mechanism 
And uh, right now, Madam Chairperson, we are closely coordinating with uh, Dr. De Gran of the Private Hospital Association of the Philippines to craft uh, this, uh, probably you can modify the DCPM. A part of the proposal is instead of using 80% of the outstanding amount, we will go into paying 100% and we will just recover uh, later on in the event that uh, there are claims that that's correct. It turns out na, kunyari, three months from now, you find out na invalid talaga tong particular claim na to, saka nyo nalang babawas. Yes, so, that, tama ba? That's correct, Madam Chairperson. Okay. We have a policy of payment recovery, Madam okay. Chairperson. Okay, so you are in the process of discussing this with uh, Dr. Degrano. Yes, Madam Chairperson. Okay. So, we in other words, that. yung sinabi ni Dr. Degrano na yung kanyang 35 hospitals na umaabot ng 2 billion yung claim nila, malaki yung chance na ibibigay nyo na yung buong 2 billion tapos saka na lang kayong sisingil sa kanila kung sakali mang mayroong uh, na-disallow. Kung baga, binigyan nyo na sila ng good faith uh, assumption and you'll pay the whole. That's what you're saying? That's correct, Madam Chief Person. Okay. But you have a mechanism naman. Siyempre, pero ng taong bayan yan, ano? Meron naman kayong mechanism na talagang kung may red flag naman yung hospital na yon eh, di naman masasama yon Tama? What we will implement, Madam Chairperson, is the payment recovery policy of PhilHealth, meaning if there are questionable uh, claims when the claims are processed, we will require the hospital to uh, return by uh, liquidation okay, so, the amount, so, Madam Chairperson. So in other words, you're telling me wala na kayong titignan na red flags, bayad na agad talaga tong lahat? Tama For the yun? implementation of the DCPM, that's uh, correct, Madam Chairperson. We'll pay uh, 100%, uh, Madam Chairperson. That's the proposal, Madam Chairperson. It's still for the approval of the uh, ex Executive Committee and the Board, Madam Chairperson, okay. please. I have a question lang before I, I give the floor to you. Dr. Digrano, um, itong association nyo, it's a voluntary association, correct? Yes, po. Opo, uh, Madam Chair. It's not like, kasi I asked the question because um, ang Integrated Bar of the Philippines, it's not voluntary for lawyers. We have to join. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasi it, they, it helps us police our own, no? Yung uh, pwedeng sila-sila, magkaroon sila ng, uh, um, ano ba? Uh, that's how they police us. Kasi pag wala kami nung aming uh, number, we cannot sign um, documents. My question is, it's voluntary. Therefore, do you have any mechanism in place to police your members? In other words, kung merong member na, you know, sunod-sunod yung accusations or complaints na nare-receive, number one, sa inyo ba, sa inyo ba nagko-complain? And if, you, if they do complain, may nagagawa pa kayo? I, I'm just curious if merong ganun sa association nyo. Uh, right now, po, uh, because we are a voluntary organization, in the po, we, we only advise them. Of, yeah. Uh, okay. Po, uh, okay. Say, thank you. Po. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to understand because um, to our to everyone here present, um, my understanding of the policy, and I, I may be wrong, no, sa dami ng information that comes my way, I, I was of the impression that that policy implemented during COVID to pay to pay the PhilHealth uh, claimants, the hospitals. Siyempre, kung may red flag nga, teka muna, hindi mo na binabayaran, sandali lang. And siguro konti lang naman yun, di naman lahat, di ba? So yun lang naman, I I'm just worried about that because PhilHealth has, has historically made payments to claims later on that turned out to be bogus, that turned out to be excessive. So for your own protection and for the protection of the Filipino people's money, tinatanong ko lang naman na, yes, gusto ko ma-expedite. Yes, support ko yung debit credit na mabayaran na agad kung pwede. Pero dapat naman may mechanism lang na, teka, 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 may red flag. Since ang red flag hindi manggagaling sa association, Sino ang may red flag? Kayo ba meron? And the floor is now yours, uh, Mr. Ledesma. Thank you very much, um, Senator Pia. No, um, I just what I just wanted to highlight, no, is this DCPM method, no, debit credit payment mechanism, is really there are always two sides to a coin, no. And you're very right in saying that are the controls are in place, are the red flags in place, everything. What I just wanted to highlight, ma'am, earlier was that we've had a lot of very extensive meetings with GOA Chair, Liel Cordoba and his team. And they've given us full clearance and the green light to go ahead with DCPM, meaning 
what the the point I want to highlight, Madam Chair, is uh, yes, you're right in saying that tinignan nyo naman lahat. Sigurado ba ito? Baka may, baka may kalokohan. So it's, you're telling me you did. I'm With saying COVID. we've had very extensive meetings okay. and they've given us full clearance. So okay. what, I, what I want to assure this Honorable Committee is that it is all very clear and it is all very legal and wala pong ano to. Wala. All, the, all, the, all the controls are in place po. Just wanted to highlight that po. Thank you very much po. So, balikan ko ngayon si um, Dr. Digrano. So, Doc, um, you're fairly confident now kasi my job is to ensure the viability of PhilHealth and the people and the hospitals trust in them. So, I need to hear from you kung okay kayo dyan kasi it's not our job sana to be bailing out PhilHealth. So, sinasabi ng PhilHealth, may pangbayad sila. I truly believe in the partnership of public and private sector when it comes to healthcare. So if you have that confidence, then for now, I'm okay also. Uh, yes, po, uh, Madam Chair. Actually, right now, sinabi naman po ni PCEO, we are in uh, direct communication with them. Ano uh, magkaroon nga po dito ng problem? Uh, initially, I really... Uh, asked to talk with him and uh, uh, katulad ng problem po sa computers na ganyan. So, we are in direct communication with him now so that uh, in any case, magkaroon po ng mga, mga problems. Sinosort up na po agad namin yun. So, sigo, is it fair for me to assume na pagka nakabasa ho ako ng another article, it's either positive in the sense na the, the funding is the payments are trickling in o di kaya and sana hindi mangyari eh, despite all your efforts hindi na kayo talaga nagkasundo pero wala na tayong gulatan pwede? Oh, opo sana po ay talagang matuloy na yun naman po ang uh, inaasahan po ng aming lahat ng mga kasi lahat naman tayo meron talagang mga iba-ibang trabaho katulad nyo doktor no? sabi ko eh, inabala namin kayo just to settle this and your job now coordinating for all of these members is commendable, sir, kasi you're doing it for the members, di ba? Um, for at least the 35 who've responded and many more na siguro magsasubmit na rin sila na malaman nila yung kanila masisettle, yung iba hindi, dahil hindi sila sumagot sa survey nyo. Did you want to say something else? And just very quickly, Madam Chair, um, thank you again for your comments. That's why, Madam Chair, again, we're very extremely grateful for this meeting because every time people read the media, hindi ko naman sinasabing sinasadya, no? The honorable media, a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications come out. And based on my experience, ever since I joined Heat Field Health, every time there's a face-to-face meeting, including with yourself, including with Dr. Degrano, palaging nare-resolve afterwards, ma'am. It's only a matter of clarifying and miscommunication. So again, I just wanted to thank you for that, Madam Chair, for this meeting. Well, for those who were not in the budget hearing of DOH and Field Health, what, two weeks ago, Sinabi ko nga, di ba, I reminded everybody na si WHO, kasama dun sa guidelines niya on how to deal with COVID, was communication. So, you all have to have your communication experts also to ensure na in, instead of nagtuturoan tayo, nagtutulungan tayo. So, let me just clarify a few more things with my team. Kasi kung wala nang tanong, I, of course, I will get uh, Secretary Herbosa's statements, if any. And then we can adjourn this sooner than later so we can go about our other meetings, no? Hold on lang. Okay. Um, my my team who all have been with me for many years, they don't look that old, but some of them have been with me for more than 10 years. And all of them have been with me in the three and going on fourth year that we've handled the DOH budget. No? So I always check with them if I'm overlooking something or meron pang kailangan iliwanag at meron pa nga. Um, they correctly pointed out that the impact of these delayed claims uh, is very different per per hospital, no, Dr. Dehano? I'm sure you have big and small hospitals. 
Yung big yes. hospitals kasi lahat naman nangangailangan kasi ano but the big hospitals kahit pa paano may investors siguro mm-hmm. baka nga mayroong pang stocks yan na if talagang okay. mangailangan eh they can uh, cash in and uh, pangtawid pero the small ones don't have that so I think it's important that we hear from PhilHealth are you able to to segregate itong mga hospitals um to ensure that Uh, yung maliliit, eh hindi na papabayaan. Baka naman, ang liit-liit ng claim niyan, pero sila yung baka magsara na bukas dahil wala nang pambayad sa mga nurse. Wala nang pambayad sa technician. At, at, at ilan lang naman ang nurse at technician nila? Uh, Madam Chair, can I address the question? Um, actually, it's an excellent question. Very good point. Um, I, I as PCO, uh, and with my team here present, no, uh, we can commit that uh, everyone will be given uh, will be given uh, fair treatment you know um, regardless of size of the hospital and regardless of all that okay um i i i appreciate that statement pero uh I want to get a breakdown to see how do you have such a thing, the breakdown of what are the claims, what regions are affected. And um, I don't even know if you uh, can categorize those hospitals in terms of um, kumbaga sa businesses, di ba? MSME hospital ba yan? Kasi mas hirap na hirap yan. And, and sa kanila tayo nagpapasalamat na nag-abala silang magtayo ng hospital sa probinsya, tapos wala man lang tayong support, uh, walang public hospital doon. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're as important as any other hospital, pero they are really serving that area, di ba? Actually, Madam Chair, uh, if, I, if I may answer. Madam Chair, uh, yes, we have, the, we have the complete breakdown of uh, what you're requesting. In fact, Madam Chair, uh, within, within, definitely within the day, maybe within the next few hours, we can submit it to you. Na, nasa amin yan, Madam Chair, we just have to pull it out. No? But it's a complete uh, detailed breakdown on your request, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Although our hearing now um, is nakafocus po sa private, pero may mga utang din kayo sa public hospitals, no? At baka na yes. mas din yung mga, yung mga director nila, tatawa si, si Sec Herbosa, baka ikaw ang ine-SOS-an nila. Um, but I, I rest assured that uh, uh, hindi namin kayo kinakalimutan and you're assuring us na pati sila. Definitely, Madam Chair. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So, um... I, I just need, maybe it's Mr. Lim Shako can clarify. Yung numbers nyo po kasi dun sa sinabmit nyo, the one, that one that's on the on the screen, August 2, um, you also have a similar slide that's dated September 30. Submission to our office, September 30. And it's exactly the same number. So meaning to say, walang nagbago between August 2 and September 30. Okay. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, the figure that we presented is August August 2. And uh, uh, Madam Chair, our system now is down. So we, are, we cannot get the latest figure. Nas mas as gusto ho natin makuha po. So ibig sabihin, yung sinabmit nyo sa akin na September 30, August 2 dapat yon. Yes po, ma'am. Oh, it's, it's, it's an error. Yes so, po, ma'am. You should, If, cor- you should correct it lang. Kasi ang yes dating sa amin... Walang nag-claim between August 2 and September 30, di ba? So yes. sabihin niyo lang na Madam yung... Chair, we will uh, Madam Chair with your permission. We will we will rectify the error. It's just a, it's just an error, Madam Chair. So it's all, instead of uh, August, instead of September 30, Madam Chair, it's just August 2. September 30, payment. Payment September 30. So Anyway, I'll Madam have Chair. my staff approach you because yes, ko, ma'am. under that, those numbers, there's a payment of 21 billion uh, so, and it says August to September. So, hindi ko ma-reconcile. Po, uh, 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 yes, po, um. We'll just, Madam Chair, very quickly. So, we'll just sit down with your staff. No, I'm sure it can easily be clarified. But most, but most likely, August to is the payable September 30 is the payment but anyway madam chair it's okay we will we will we will we will address it with your with your staff ma'am mamaya madali madali lang madali lang maliwanag din sa kanila okay so if you can ha- if you can discuss that because i have one more i think one na lang important question here is um 
you know, there's there's a lot of issues with field health, and I'm not going to go into any of them except how it affects the budget immediately, you know. So what is the impact of the cyber attack on the processing of these claims? Because I remember you told us during the hearing na you had everything was on hold, but then a few days after, okay na. So ano bang impact nito and uh, um, what, what can the hospitals expect? Yeah. Sandale, see, Dr. De Grano, do you want to say something? Your hand is raised. Yes, po. Uh, so lang uh, i-mention na uh, ito pong report na ito are based on, nakalagay naman po doon sa kanilang report, checks generated and advice issued. So it doesn't mean po na na-receive na po ng mga hospitals yung amount na yun. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you for pointing that out. I will also ask them to clarify that. Thank you. Who, who can answer my question on the effect of the cyber attack? Yeah. Uh, thank you again for your question, Madam Chair. No. Um, if I may, if I may have your permission, if I may allow uh, our Chief Operating Officer to to discuss briefly um, uh, the issue. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chairperson, if I may, we are already in the third week. Uh, since the cyber attack happened and we of course there's a we expect a delay in the payment of claims with the person because we turned off uh, our system uh, when it happened and the situation at the time was that hospitals could not submit claims but we implemented uh, over-the-counter processes and procedures in fact uh, we paid uh, through manual, manually, Madam Chairperson. At present, we have already uh, put up or resumed our system, restored our system, Madam Chairperson. Most of them uh, already up. But uh, on the system on the processing of claims is being turned on gradually. The reason, Madam Chairperson, is that we are constantly conducting uh, a VAPT or vulnerability assessment and penetration test every time we put on a system. So there are uh, at least six regions right now which are already processing claims, meaning uh, they can process and eventually pay. So we target that at the end of this week, Madam Chairperson, all regions will be able to uh, process and pay claims, meaning all systems needed in the processing of claims will uh, be effective, Madam Chairperson, please. So six regions are processing. So medyo marami pa rin yung hindi, no? Uh, thank That's you. Correct, Wait lang. Uh, Dr. Dr. Di Grano, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Paul. Um, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Di Grano. Thank you, Paul. Okay. So siguro as an assurance na lang, kung ano yung pwede yung uh, i-settle offline, like the the past claims, di ba? At least gumagalaw and yun din naman yung mga hospital, di ba? If they're operating, kung hindi nyo man ma-process yung current claims nila, baka naman yung mga past claims nila ma ma-settle na para may income na pumapasok naman sa kanila, di ba? Yeah. Uh, yes po. Noted on that po. Okay. And then po, if I can just quickly um, mention, um, it might be good for the Honorable Committee to know, ever since this happened po, uh, which was on September 6, I think, or anyway, a few weeks ago, um, DICT um, National Privacy Commission, NBI, everyone has been extremely, extremely helpful and supportive to feel help. No? So I just, I'd like to assure this committee that uh, this is being fully addressed, not just by feel help, but even uh, all the other agencies concerned. Thank you. That was my next question. So thank you for, yes, yeah. for mentioning that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you also, Madam Chair. The reason the reason this um, cyber attack um, is is uh, relevant to this hearing on the budget is there are statements coming from private hospitals that they're turning away patients 
with the concern kasi na hindi rin nga sila mababayaran. So kung may history na silang delayed ang bayad tapos nagka-cyber attack pa, ang feeling nila baka beyond 60 days na naman ito mababayad, nagto-turn down sila ng patient. So sayang kasi si Dr. Degrano already left pero baka DOH is DOH work, working with the hospitals to give them some kind of assurance, feel health, paano ba? Kasi that's a national health concern. And for me, that's a security concern because security requires that people, you know, hindi na nga sapat yung hospital natin, kulang na nga yung doktor, tapos mataturn away pa. How do we address that? Um, if I may, Secretary, Madam Chair, just very quickly, no, and I think Ms. Secretary Ted may have may have some things to, to add. No, um, Before I answer the question, Madam Chair, I just failed to add in the last, um, uh, my last, your last query, we are also we also asked PBBM of Malacanang to set up a uh, task force, uh, collective task force that will be addressing this issue no, on the hacking on the on the hacking of field health. So I think uh, we sent him an official letter, no, and I think uh, Malacanang will be putting that up, but putting that together, no, and, and and to answer to address your question, Madam Chair, um, uh, if I can ask CEO Eli to answer the question. No? Madam Chairperson, if I may, as to the, uh, we all know that we have a deadline for the submission of claims, uh, which is 60 days from discharge. However, we are not implementing this uh, requirement at the present, Madam Chairperson, until uh, this month, October. So there's no uh, deadline okay. so for submission. So on the part of the hospital, the assurance is there is no deadline. So be sure na alam ng mga hospital nyo yun, ano? pati sa public, no, Secretary. But Kung ako naman yung hospital and diligent ako na nagsasubmit, di naman nakakatulong sa akin na walang deadline kasi gusto kong sumingil dahil nagbigay na ako. So, how do you handle that? That, that, is, a, that, that, is, a current, that is a current issue that you need to have a task force for them also. Paano magsusurvive yon kung two weeks na, tapos three weeks na, four weeks na? And let's say wala silang issue, sila ay nababayaran naman more or less on time. Hindi nila kaya na hindi sila bayaran. Paano? Madam Chairperson, as a normal process, we process uh, first in first in uh, procedure, meaning those who first uh, claims that are submitted first will be processed first. So when the claim is submitted earlier uh, than the 60th day, then we'll process them Correct. first. Correct, but you told me only a few regions are processing. So what if yung isang hospital sa isang region, eh, wala siyang way na ma-access? Papaano sila? Madam Chairperson, with the directive, we will uh, address this issue uh, within the day, Madam Chairperson, and direct all our regional offices to process uh, first and foremost those claims submitted by our level one hospitals, private hospitals, Madam Chairperson, as well as uh, government hospitals. We'll issue the directive uh, today, Madam Chairperson. Yes, because don't you think this is where your 60-40 debit credit system should kick in in times like this, di ba? Sabi mo nga, all the safeguards are there. Approved naman ng COA. So, bakit sila ang mapipinalize dahil nagkaroon ng cyber attack, di ba? Sila dapat yung unang ina-assure nyo. And this is where I, I hate having to say na I don't have to have a meeting or a hearing to tell you to do that. Because this is another issue on top of the delayed payment issues that you have been confronted with for years na kailangan may plano din di ba um we hear, we hear you loud and clear madam chair we will comply we will comply with, with what you so just give my staff a call i don't even need you to give me paperwork just tell me what you're doing so that we can also help in assuring our small hospitals and even the big ones they also have bills to pay na mapap na gagawa ng paraan. And if you have to implement the 60-40 debit credit right away, then you do it. Even if you say, okay, hindi nyo na-submit, ano yung monthly nyo for the past 12 months? Ang average na claim nyo is this much. I'll give you 60% of that. You're in good standing. Yan naman yung average mo. Or you give them, I don't know, fair ba yun to give them the smaller amount? Did the average? Hindi ba? Yes. We, we will comply, Madam Chair, immediately uh, among all the regions. Because like you, like, you, like you said earlier, it's only so far, it's only six regions, and we have a total of 17 regions. So we will comply immediately, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you.
Um, when when you passed on earlier to attorney Ellie Santos, itong uh, tungkol sa debit credit, no? When we brought in something, yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. So when you say talking about, so na-implement na? Or pilot? How, what, is, what is the status of that? Um, yeah. If sure. I can allow CEO to. Yes. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, if I may, we already have the, because we have experienced this uh, during the pandemic, Madam Chairperson, we already have the proposal yet to be submitted to the Executive Committee for approval and eventually to the Board, Madam Chairperson, for its approval. Baka pwede nyo nang, kasi I'm, I'm telling you now na you have another incident or situation to handle. So if this whole debit credit policy is not yet approved, the hindi rin nyo magagamit, di ba, for, for this one. So get it, do you have an XCOM coming up soon? Yes, Madam Chairperson. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, um, it's okay. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, um, we we have regular execom and board meetings, so there's always one coming up soon. And and if needed, Madam Chair, we can easily call a special both a special execom or a special board meeting. Po, hindi problema yan po. So my staff is just reminding us, no, are you, that itong internal audit report on IT procurement was one of the uh, requests and we're still waiting for it. If I may, Madam Chairperson, we confirm receipt of the request, Madam Chairperson, and uh, we will submit the document within the day, Madam Chairperson, please. Yeah, submit it because I, we need to go over it and then ideally I don't have to call another meeting, but if I do, I need time to call these meetings before plenary of the budget. Yeah. Madam Chair, we can assure you 100% all the requests, including the IT procurement, will be submitted within the day, Po. Thank you, Po. Um, just to clarify, dito sa documents uh, submitted by PhilHealth, uh, diba we have the amount of 27.2 billion, no? That, that, that was flashed on the screen earlier. Yes, Po. Um, this is a total of the within 60 days and the beyond 60 day claims, right? Yes, Paul. So 27.2 billion uh, payable. And then in your last slide, um, there is a column uh, that says payment, 90.74. And then it says that the last column says percentage paid 73%. So my understanding of this is the payable of 27.2 billion there has been a payment of 19 ayan 19.7 19 billion yeah, and yeah. that is where you are have been saying that may 70 something percent kayong paid diba Tama yes po ba? yes po correct po so when was this made itong 19 billion this is as of august 2 or september 23 parang babalik tayo dun sa confusion ko diyan eh Again, Madam Chair, if I can allow SVP Renet uh, to yes. address the question. Thank Marami you. Salamat po, uh, uh, Sir PCO. Uh, again, Madam Chair, the payable is of, as of August uh, 2, 2000, uh, 2023. Okay. And uh, the payment, Madam Chair, is for the month of August and September. Uh, uh, ito yung 19.7 po. Yung balak niyong bayaran. Ano ba? Uh, ano, yung, what does that mean? <laughs> the the 19.7, Madam Chair, these are the amount na uh, requested by our PRO na ibabayad, ibayad doon sa ating Feared mga... for payment. Yes po. Na requested. for payment. Yes po, ma'am. Pero hindi pa na-release. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, that amount, 19.7, uh, released by our PRO already because ngayon ay nasa October 11 na tayo. And uh, the report is 
uh, for the month of August and September po, Madam Chair. Because my understanding from Dr. DeGrano earlier, and I'm looking at uh, Mr. Lloyd Dionis of uh, private hospitals now because Dr. DeGrano had to leave us, is that precisely it doesn't mean the statement na payment doesn't mean that they have received the checks. So what you're telling me is this document here says that cleared on column one, two, three, and third column that says payment means cleared for payment and the checks are being released because not necessarily confirmed na natanggap. Or are you con or are you stating matter of fact Lina, na release nyo na lahat yan, na release na namin yan, na hawak na nila yung payment na 19.7. Actually, uh, check pa ba? O, o bank transfer? Ano ba? Madam Chair, uh, the system right now ay uh, automatic fund transfer o na po tayo. Transfer. So, okay. Madam Chair, itong uh, 19.7, uh, Madam check. Chair, Murahin ay... Murahin na natin sa language natin yan. Oo, oh, oh, wala na po dahil sa automatic uh, uh, debit, ah, credit to the account uh, of the hospital okay. po, Madam okay. Chair. So, ang pera na ito, ang 19.7 billion, Madam Chair, ito yung pera that our regional office requested from central office for the month of August and September. And ito po ay uh, validate po nila. That's the reason why, Madam Chair, hindi kami kaagad nakabigay ng listahan ng report dahil until kaninang umaga, kagabi, nagsa, uh, pumapasok pa ang report nila because they validated the figure also na itong amount na ito ay uh, uh, ready, labas na, on the part ng PhilHealth. Yung, it's a matter of yung ba ay na-receive already by the hospital. Because there are some instances, Madam Chair, Though the, the money is ready already, but hindi pa na-credit na doon sa account ng ating mga hospital. Sino, sino ba ang pumipindot ng paid? Central or regional? Uh, Madam Chair, ang... Um, uh, paid, submit. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, yung uh, sistema sa pagbayad ang ating regional offices, requesting money from central office, and then we ready that money, and then inform them that the money is already available, and automatic submission of the ADA to the banks and then the ADA uh, transfer the money to the hospitals. The ADA? What is the ADA? ADA is the uh, authority ano yun? Asan siya? Asan si ADA? Sa, debit sa cent account. Authority debit account so, ADA. Pero nasa central ba si ADA o nasa regional? Nasa regional office, Madam Chair. So in other words, si regional will once regional request it from you and it goes through whatever system you have, you'll send them that funding. Yes, po, Madam Chair. And they'll be the one to release it. Yes, po, Madam Chair. But that should be an automatic process, tama ba? Yes, po, automatic Kasi po. Kasi hindi naman nila i-request yun na hindi pa yan na-clear sa kanila. Yes, po, Madam Chair. So, nasa na yung pera na yan ngayon? Uh, Madam Chair, ang pera na ito ay malamang sa malamang nasa hospital na po to. Dahil sa uh, nasa, ano po, dahil sa yung pera na yan ay available on our, uh, on our fund and uh, it's a matter of pag-credit doon sa account ng ating mga hospitals. So, sa central account, sa, sa bank account ng central, nalabas na yung 19.7, na-deliver na yan sa regional or iba-iba? Merong na-deliver, merong hindi? Uh, uh, Madam Chair, we have the one fund uh, system wherein isang account tayo on the part of benefit payment and then our regional office na ka virtual every time that the uh, money transferred to the account of the hospital uh, kinukuha dito sa regional virtual account and the central office birth, uh, account mother account nagta transfer ng pera doon automatic apo madam so, chair so talaga hinahawakan ng regional hindi po madam chair central diretso tapos na, na natatanggal na yan sa kanila automatic Pag paid na yan paid. yes po yes po madam chair so, so yung sagot nasa na nga uh, <laughs> Madam Chair, makikita lang natin once uh, mayroon na tayong financial report na talagang mm, may uh, actual na mismo na, uh, na pera na lumabas sa ating bank account, Madam Chair. So wala kang way ngayon na tingnan niya na asa na si 90 na sa account niyo pa o wala na? Wala kang way? Uh, uh, gusto namin, Madam Chair, makuha kaso lang naka-down pa yung system natin, hindi pa 100%. Yes po, yes po. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Madam Chair. But, uh, you know, as Secretary of Health, I'm also operating the largest network of public hospitals, 87. 
public hospitals for which are GOCC hospitals. And we provide the services to the Filipino people. And we depend a lot on PhilHealth because the budget allocated during uh, government appropriations is not enough because patients continue to uh, experience high cost of medical care. And the only place to go is the DOH-run hospitals where the services are uh, available. Uh, uh, I beg to disagree na we should actually verify first before we make statements if the money is already in the hospitals. Because I did. After, after the statement publicly, uh, I asked uh, my 87 hospitals to actually give a report of the arrears and what has been paid. And uh, I have it here with me, but I will submit it to the Office of the Committee on Finance okay, so that you have an idea of what really has been received. Yeah, by are our public to tell hospitals. me of this nine billion, they did not, they have not received that yet. Uh, what in, in my report? Sabi naman talaga nila is it's possible na hindi na they don't know they cannot answer us because of the hacking. They also don't know what the status of this payment is. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, can I just make a quick comment? Um, uh, before before this meeting, um, Secretary Herbosa was kind enough to show me the report, no. And I just mentioned, uh, I think around 15 minutes ago, I just whispered to Secretary Herbosa, maybe if ever there's a uh, discrepancy, it's because uh, the 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 date, the ref the, the reference date of SECTED, of DOH SECTED is September 6. How, how while the report we submitted to you, Madam Chair, is August 2. So there's a roughly one month discrepancy with regards to the reference date. So that may be an issue. No, I just wanted to highlight that to the committee, uh, Madam Chair, Secretary Ted. Thank you. Secretary had the floor. Are, are you done, Secretary? Uh, well, uh, I just want to um, tell the good committee, uh, Madam Chair, that um, our president and CEO of PhilHealth is doing uh, an excellent job in trying to improve payments to the hospitals. I've explained it to him since our first board meeting, that the mandate of PhilHealth is to make sure that benefits of our members are paid and that the hospital's uh, arrears should be actually zero or matter 60 days. But to have such a huge amount is actually very inefficient. And in fact, I, I would blame the executive committee of PhilHealth who has been doing and managing PhilHealth uh, on this, uh, what we call inefficiency of payment because Hospitals depend on them. The public hospitals we manage depend on the additional remuneration of uh, services paid to PhilHealth uh, uh, members. And that, that actually matches. And if there, if there is none, we are unable to procure additional meds and additional hospital supplies. So I have been here, here the list of the unpaid amounts of all. I, the ones that responded to me were only 50 51 of the 87 hospitals. So this is still much less than what is actual. What amount do you have with you? I mean, it's it's a given na uh, baka possible na ibang dates, but what, what no, are I'll those? just submit the report since uh, oh, this, this requires a little bit more okay. discretion. Okay. In okay. Terms of team. But I'm, okay. I'm telling That's you, some of what our financial management vice president is saying is actually not true based on what I have verified. So yun lang ang masasabi ko dito. So uh, I will give you the report. Uh, I don't know if the private sector has a similar finding, but this is well, our finding of what, 51 what, hospitals. What I understand the statement is, is well, based on the slide that was shown, is that nine billion has been nine point three billion has been cleared for payment as of the August two payables. Tama. Nine point two billion has been cleared for payment for the government hospitals as of August 2. As to what the status of that is, kung natanggap na ng mga hospital o hindi, hindi nyo rin ma-verify because nga, hindi kayo nyo ma-access ang system nyo. Yes po, Madam Chair. Yes po. So, I guess, paano, mamano-mano natin to, Secretary, to find out from the... Madam Chair, the only objection that was a statement made by our SVP for Finance and Management that... Uh, Sigurado siya nasa hospitals na yung pera. Kasi sigurado naman ako, wala pa sa kanila. And I have the exact amount. O, oh, eh, yun na nga eh. Ano ba talaga? <laughs> Madam Chair. Can, uh, can I make a quick comment, Madam Chair, then, before SVP Renet, no? Um, I, I think it's a very good idea that the report will be submitted to you. 
but if I may, if I may respectfully suggest to sec DOH Sected Herbosa, because this is 51 hospitals, so hindi po pa kompleto. So it will be hard to really make a conclusion. So maybe it would be nice. Um, again, it's just my humble suggestion. Baka sected, baka pwedeng ikompleto na muna natin lahat ng 100% of the hospitals and then tsaka i-submit. At least it will be able to draw conclusions. Kasi kung may kulang, it will be hard to determine, ma'am, eh. Kasi incomplete so, yung... ang assumption mo, the 36 who did not submit would favorably say na, ah, kami, bayad na kami. In, kasi, hindi, naman, hindi naman po. It's not, not necessarily, but it's just more that it's a more complete it could only picture. Get worse. It, it, hindi, na, hindi naman po. It's, I, I guess it's just more that I think it will be a clearer picture, diba? Kasi kompleto. It's just a humble suggestion, ma'am. Thank you po. Anyway, Sir Renep. Madam Chair, if may I, uh, maraming salamat po and maraming salamat for the information. Uh, ongoing on the side of the reconciliation with the Department of Health retained hospital. In fact, uh, mayroon uh, invitation that we will be attending in the next few days, Madam Chair. Uh, the figure presented by Secretary Ted, these are hospitals' figure. And on our part, Madam Chair, this is also our figure on the part of Bill Health. And there are a lot of, uh, of course, my denied, my RTH, and uh, uh, on their part, the denied RTH may be kasama sa figure nila. On the part ng Bill Health, uh, hindi siya kasama sa figure namin. So, Madam Chair, these are subject for reconciliation that we are pushing with the Department of Health Hospital, Madam Chair, na kailangan natin makita and uh, on uh, and of course, kailangan natin ma-reconcile and fast-track the payment, Madam Chair. Ito naman ang gusto natin mangyayari, Madam Chair, as, uh, of course, the instruction of the President or even the Secretary is to fast-track this payment no? in coordination with our regional offices, uh, Madam Chair. So, reconciliation is very critical, Madam Chair, along this line. Para makita po natin, Madam Chair, thank you so much pa. Madam Chair, very quick comment, if I may. Very, very quick. No. Um, uh, I just wanted to cite uh, an example, no, which I think will address our, our, our concern now. Um, last December, Madam Chair, um, I, had, I had joined PhilHealth in November of last year. And as of this, uh, December last year, there was an incident close to Christmas time wherein Dr. De Grano, the, Dr. De, René De Grano, uh, Honorable De Grano, Dr. De Grano of Be Happy, came out with a statement. It was all over the news. He was saying PhilHealth owes us $10 billion. No, but parang he was a uh, adamant and he was stating that uh, bakit ganon ang laki ng utang ng filial sa amin, which is roughly ten billion. No, so that was carried on by all the media and it was highlighted in the media in the newspapers. No, so anyway, when that happened, Madam Chair, we immediately called a meeting with Doctor De Grano to clarify. No, and after that meeting, it was proven, and Doctor De Grano agreed. He was in that meeting that hindi pala ten billion yung amount. The final amount was for a little less than four billion. So what I want to say, Madam Chair, is, and this happened. This just happened within the year. No, uh, again, I'm not saying that the information of Sected is wrong. I'm just highlighting that a lot of times, a lot of this can be clarified, can be reconciled with a face-to-face -face meeting. And the leader, man, kasi magsabi, oh, itong papel ko malit, kitang kita. Yung filial, di nagsasabi ng totoo. Same thing with Dr. De Grano last December. He's saying, you owe us 10 billion. But when we met with him a, a day after, pasensya na, hindi pala 10 billion. It's less than, it's 3 point something billion pala. So I just want to highlight that, ma'am. So again, and like you said, diba, every time we reconcile, every time we meet, dun lumilinaw, ma'am. Eh. Thank you, po. Thank you, then. And again, in fairness to the good secretary, he didn't even report the number. He just wants to submit it to the committee. So he's doing you a big favor by not adding to the confusion and giving you opportunity to to clarify it. Because so I think that's very uh, respectable and honorable of him. So Thank you, Paul. I think I'm prepared to end this hearing. Um, I, I have... Uh, I I've received the uh, candid responses from all the resource persons. Uh, I want to emphasize that, as I already said earlier, uh, public and private partnership is very important. Although uh, ang nandito na representative is from um, the private sector, but of course the secretary represents the public sector, and and uh, you did manifest your grave concern that uh, they should get paid. Um, 
a lot of a lot of the hospitals are also struggling. I, I know that for a fact. That's why that's why we have this hearing because we also want to ensure that the public hospitals get the support that they need. So, any final statement, Secretary Herbosa? I'll, I'll let you be the last, no? But we can end with you. See, uh, Mr. Dionis of uh, Be Happy would like to say something. Uh, Madam Chair, I, we just in behalf of the members of Be Happy, we just would like to air just two two points. The first point, sir, is, uh, Madam Chair, we would just like to suggest if the hospital and field health would agree in a standard procedure of recognizing liability. No, kasi um, sa part po kasi ni field health, they don't recognize RTH or return to hospital as part of their liabilities. But on the perspective of the hospitals po, we do recognize po RTH as part of our receivables, except po the denied claims. Pag denied planes po sa books po ng mga hospitals, we do set an allowance po for uncollectability kasi denied din. Baka meron po kaming pagkakamali on the hospital side. So, but the RTH po kasi, it can pertain to a very minor problem. No? Na probably yung date lang, no? or baka yung firma lang, or yung name lang, no? some sort of validation. So if we can agree of, on, a, on a standard procedure of recording liability, that will be a good start for the reconciliation. And and then second point. Let's get an answer to that. I, I, I guess the answer is yes. Para naman hindi naging yes yon. Uh, um, if I may, if I may, uh, honorable senator. Sinanatin yes. Na? Actually, yeah, the answer is a uh, resounding yes. In fact, we're already we're already in discussions. Yung accounting to accounting reconciliation, no. So yeah. Anyway, short answer: yes. We, we will. We will. We're working on it. Okay. Yes, Paul. Dali yung period daw na nakulang lang doon, madedenay yung claim. May ganun talaga eh. So ayusin natin yan. Sandali lang, patapusin La natin siya. Uh, last silang, uh, Madam Chair, kasi um, very critical din po situation ng most of our members po. So, you mentioned po about sa DCPM. We're very thankful po, um, fake partners for the DCPM. No? We're one of the hospitals po who benefited po for the DCPM. So I just wanted to ask, uh, Mr. Chair, if mayroon na bang tentative parang target yung kailan po di ma-implement yung DCPM kasi we, 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 need, we need really the funds the soonest possible time, Mr. Chair. Okay, yun ang kailangan sagutin ng PhilHealth. Ano na ba? Kasi ang sagot nyo is this will be taken up with the executive committee. It is considered a priority. So, kailan nga, kailan na ba yung DCP, ano, DCPM ma-implement or once that you take it up? Ma'am, I think uh, it's safe to assure this honorable committee maybe sometime October, November of this year. Oh, sana October. Well, we, we will. We, do, we don't want to. Um, yes, ma'am. We don't want to promise. But maybe you can give us a weekly report kung nasa na. Okay, we'll do that, ma'am. We'll comply. The executive committee na, may kinaklarify pa. And then there's the next commit, executive committee meeting is on this date. So that you know that we're also watching and we're also um, pushing it to have an early resolution. We will comply, ma'am. Weekly report, ma'am. To, to be submitted to your good self. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Say you. again. Any final words? Uh, th thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I think it's actually very important for us to understand that we're implementing the Universal Health Care Act that uh, our good senators and congressmen passed. I'm the lucky Secretary of Health to implement that. And to implement this, we actually need a very efficient paying mechanism by the Phil Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. The countries that have succeeded with a single-payer system, like like, for example, the ones they have in Taiwan, was really based on a very efficient computer system. And any question you ask to them, how has the hospital been paid? Did the hospital receive money? Because they are computerized, they can be able to answer you right there and then. They even know whether a member went to another specialist twice, three times, or four times. This is the type of efficiency I am dreaming of. And I do thank the Committee on Finance for looking into this uh, delayed payments and arrears of uh, the corporation. Uh, I think it's very important that we understand that hospitals will collapse. Hospitals are being sold. To this date, I have friends in the business sector who actually look for hospitals having difficulty and they are actually buying them. These were hospitals, you, the one you described, which I call the mom and pop hospital. This is a doctor, maybe a couple, serving in a small community. Dahil walang public hospital doon, they build na lang a hospital kahit walang kita. Uh, then they build it over years, and then fill out comes, iniipit sila kasi the payments are delayed by 60 days, 30 days, ay, 90 days, and sometimes months and years. So 
So my suggestion, uh, Madam Chair, is that we should treat financing similar to the way we have credit cards. If I, if I use my credit card, because the bank allows me to use the credit card system, if I do not pay on time on the same due date, they start to bill me finance charges. It's called finance charges. So I think if PhilHealth doesn't pay the hospitals, the benefits they have given to members, their members, PhilHealth's money, the, the hospitals should have a right to build them finance charges. I think this is something that we need to actually impose. And that, that would probably make PhilHealth more efficient because they would yung pera nila sa finance charges. And they would be able to protect our small mom and pop hospitals, which I want. I want the small mom and pop hospitals to continue because they are fill ng gap, ng absence ng ating government hospitals in remote areas where there is no public hospital. So, so very important talaga, mami, itong, uh, making PhilHealth work for our universal healthcare and for the Filipino people, parang uh, um, we are one of the few countries with the single payer system, but ours is probably the ones that's failing. So, so nakakahiya din yun. To me, I would want to see a very successful universal healthcare with single payer system because the assessment in the academe is that single payer systems are the ones that are most successful in implementing universal health coverage. So, for me. Malaking bagay itong ginagawa niyo, ma'am, to really uh, investigate uh, arrears uh, that are not paid by the corporation. Uh, we in the board are also trying very hard. I think the, uh, the president and CEO is uh, being supported by a very strong board now that is trying to really uh, make this, this insurance corporation a more efficient one. Maraming salamat, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you. Um, this is just a meeting, so did you want to say something quickly? But quickly, na lang, please. Yes. No, Madam Chair, I just wanted to echo uh, uh, and thank uh, Sec. Tedder Bosa for the nice words. No, And again, um, just thank you again, Ma'am, uh, Senator, Honorable Senator Chair Pia Cayetano. No? We really appreciate hearings like this, so we're given a chance to clarify uh, all the issues. Thank you again, Madam Chair, and have a good afternoon. The submissions of what's due and uh, rest assured for everyone, um, whatever we can do to clarify the issues and to get these payments um, made, that is our goal. We shall, we shall comply, ma'am. And within the day, lahat ng promises namin within the day, promise yan, ma'am. You'll get it within the day. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.